Hey guys, so this is my second Valentine's Day look. I wanted to do something bright and fun and flirty for this look, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm starting out with the Lorac Original Pro Palette. I put a little cream under my brow bone to highlight, and now I'm just blending a little bit of the shade Taupe into my crease. I'm using a nice big fluffy brush from Crown Brushes to do most of this shading to keep things soft and layered. And there I just add a little bit of the color Sable just to deepen up that brown shade a little bit. And I just buffed a tiny bit of the shade Espresso in the crease and a little bit under the lash line just to give a little bit of depth. And then I'm gonna buff everything and blend it to make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm going to pack on I think it was a mixture of white cream and light pink because I tried using just cream and it wasn't bright enough for me. But I packed that all over my lid and inner corner and then I'm just gonna buff that out and add a little bit more highlight because I felt like I lost it a little bit. I am not winging my liner for this look. Shocker, I know. But I'm just doing a thin band of black liner. This is Benefits Their Real Push-Up Liner. I like using this for just a quick line. It's easy to make it straight and even right on the lash line. To keep my eyes looking big and bright for this look, I'm using NYX's slide-on pencil in white. These things wear for days. They are amazing. And then I'm gonna do a tight line with the same NYX slide-on pencil, but in black. I'm gonna throw on a coat of my favorite mascara. This is Benefits Their Real Mascara, just to help blend in with the lashes we're about to apply. Now for my lashes, I didn't have any of my usuals or my go-tos right now, so I went out on a limb and at Ulta I grabbed the Eyelure Style 120. They're just short, fun, little spiky lashes and I thought they would be great for this flirty look. I wasn't planning on this being a super highlighted look, but once I got started, I was just on a roll. And so here I am just tapping in Benefit's High Beam Highlighter. I don't use this on a daily basis, but for when I want something a little bit brighter and more dramatic, this liquid highlight is amazing. And I'm just gonna go over it with a tiny bit of the Mary Lou Manizer from the Balm, because that is my favorite powder highlighter. But when I pair these two together, like, oh my God, watch out. It is like the most gorgeous highlight I've ever seen in my life. For my lip, for this look, I wanted something that was really bright and was really gonna pop. So I'm using Jeffree Star's Matte Liquid Lipstick in Prom Night. It's a very pigmented, very bright, hot pink shade, which is so cute. But um, I'm taking a lot of time to get the exact shape and fullness of my lips that I would usually accomplish by overlining with lip liner. Because with these matte liquid lipsticks, as long as you are careful and patient and work at it, you can completely skip the lip liner, which is awesome. So I know this is already a super bright hot pink lip for some people, but I wanted it to pop a little bit more, so I added Candy Yum Yum from MAC, just a couple swipes of it on the inner portion of my lips. I worked all day, I ate, I talked, I drank, and those lips did not move, so that is an amazing combo for me. I sleep with my hair in this knot on top of my head, so I'm just going to take this out and remove all the bobby pins and kind of shake it out so it's not tangly and a mess anymore. I got this adorable headband at Ulta and I thought it would be perfect for a fun, girly, cute Valentine's Day look. So I'm just throwing it over my hair and arranging everything. You don't have to wear it the way I am. This is just how I personally like to wear my headbands. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also leave some comments below what you thought about this look. Bye guys.